Well, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Leaf, and it's always so great to have you guys back here. So, a lot of the times when new DLCs come out, modders get especially excited for very certain things. A lot of the times when animals get revealed, we often speculate what we could probably make with them, but what it really boils down to is the rig. Now, a lot of people don't really understand what a rig really is. The rig is essentially what the skeleton of the animal consists of. It really consists of all the bones and notes that go into making this animal move and making it walk around, fly around, swim around, whatever. Uh, a lot of the times when we do see stuff like this, it really boils down to what can we make with this specific animal. A lot of the times in the past, we honestly freaked out about the American alligator because it proved to be such a worthwhile addition for not only just reptilians, but larger aquatics as well, like sharks that don't really sway their body all that much. A lot of the times we also freaked out about the proboscis monkey, which was fantastic for tailed primates. And we also freaked out about literally any other thing that got revealed. I recall specifically that people got so excited for the badger because we really haven't had anything like that as a rig in the game just yet and it also proved to be so worthwhile for the honey badger mod as well as any other badger like animal that came out right after that. So today now that we honestly know what a rig is we're just gonna go right in and kind of look into what would be the most useful rigs for modders in future DLCs? Uh, a lot of this is speculation. I don't expect much of this to become true, unfortunately, but we're going to have high hopes going forward. Number one would be a gibbon rig. Now, the gibbon, if you guys don't already know, is a very uniquely proportioned animal. Instead of walking like, you know, on all fours or something like that. They actually walk with their hands in the sky. You guys can kind of see a picture of that show up right here. Uh, not only that, but they also do brachiate, which we have not seen in the game just yet. So getting a gibbon in any form, whether it be like a buff-cheeked, white-cheeked Saimang or something like that, it'd be a wonderful thing to have just to flesh out the rest of that brachiating roster. And even, oh, you know, a little crazy me would say, it might even be good for brachiating orangutans if they don't introduce that anytime soon. I know it sounds a little crazy to put a gibbon on an orangutan, but hey, listen, that's just how I work. Moving on from there, we're going to talk about something that I know a lot of us are very much expecting coming soon. Bird rigs. It's from literally anything, okay? Tons of birds move so differently from each other that we would honestly require a lot of different rigs. But I could honestly see a good list being eagles or condors, vice versa, being used for, you know, condors or eagles or even vultures. I could definitely see parrots or toucans being used for each other, even Sitica forms. These are all just wonderful ways that we could use a unique rig for so many different animals, even smaller songbirds, waterfowl. The list could go on and on for what animals could be extremely useful for helping to flesh out a very bare bones roster. In addition to birds, I'm going to something a little bit more practical, a little bit more realistic. I have smaller primates, okay? Rigs for smaller primates. Already, the capuchin is a beautiful rig, but it's only useful for stuff like capuchin monkeys. I know I put out a lot of mods recently that have used the capuchin as a base, be it like the wolf's gwenon and stuff like that, but I would so much prefer to have unique smaller primate rigs, whether that be for howler monkeys, tamarins, gwenons, all of them move extremely uniquely and have very unique sounds. I'm getting sick and tired of the capuchin sounds, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the capuchin rig has been very useful to so many of us, but I feel like having a lot more accurate primate rigs would be a huge benefit. In addition to that, I also have a quick little mention to this Shafaka. It's not going to be that useful of a rig, but it still is an animal that moves extremely uniquely that I feel like we would definitely love to have in the game. Moving on from there, I also have rabbits or any lagomorphs. Lagomorphs are easily some of the most unique animals that you could probably get, and they're not really achievable with the tools that we currently have in-game. Uh, with all that being said, I'd like to see Frontier tackle these so we could get all different kinds of things in the game, be it hares, be it giant Flemish rabbits and stuff like that. That'd be a wonderful thing to have. 
Also, moving down the line, I have one last wish, one last request. I have aquatics, okay? Listen, you guys know me, you guys know me and my fish. I would love to get, best case scenario, a cetacean rig, a large fish rig, a marine reptile, kind of like a turtle rig, and a shark rig. These would be perfect, and they would go miles for modding. These guys would be insane for miners to have because we could finally upgrade all of our fish, all of our marine mammals, up to the best of quality, up to the best of speed, mind you. Oh my god, the speed is the one thing that pisses me off. But having these could mean so much for modding, especially with that unique large fish rig. I feel like that could be expanded to smaller fish as well. You just gotta scale them down, I assume. But all that being said, that is all my wish list for unique rigs for modding and what would be the most useful ones. I have to give a quick shout out to Za from the modding server for this wonderful little request for a little deep dive into this very, very touchy subject for some people. Uh, anyways, I'm more than happy to await and see what Frontier has up their sleeve. I know that a lot of the times they do reuse their own rigs, be it like, you know, the doll sheep, and reusing it and slightly modifying it for like the Ibex and stuff like that. Either way, I'm very excited to see what Frontier has up their sleeves, and you can guarantee that modders will find ways to use it in very inventive ways. So I do want to thank you guys for stopping by. Hope you guys learned something, and hope you guys have the same expectations that we do going forward. And all that being said, I just want to thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Take care, and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.